Kristen and welcome to another Four Looks One Palette. This is a very special Four Looks One Palette video as I am doing it in collaboration with my friend Melissa Parada. I've never done a collab Four Looks One Palette before. I did do the Electric Challenge, which was kind of similar to my Four Looks One Palettes with Emily, and I'll link that below in case you haven't seen that. There was a lot of color in that video, let me just tell you. Um, but this is really kind of my true first collaboration in a Four Looks One Palette. So I'm really, really excited to do this. If you're not familiar with Melissa, I know I've mentioned her a few times before, but go, go ahead and give her channel a, a look. She does tons of reviews. She also has a vlog channel, or a, not a vlog channel, a vlog that she puts up once a week, and I just, she's just a really sweet, genuine, kind soul. Um, and a really good friend, so I hope that you give her a, give her a look. All right, I am re-recording actually this intro. This is the fourth look, so you'll see this in a few looks um, because I had some corruption issues. But the the <laughs> the palette that I am doing is the Urban Decay, or that we are doing is the Urban Decay Vice Four palette. I purchased this not that long ago. It is still for sale, to my knowledge. Um, I'll have everything linked below for you, of course. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the first look. So today for my first look, I use I have to. I will say this right off the bat. They're a little, some of them are a little bit dusty. I used Flame all over the lid. In the crease, I used Bitter. And then, I, oh, I stayed all in this lower line here, pretty much. And then I used Delete in the outer corner. I did take, and this is what I will do every day, this shade in Framed right here as my brow bone highlight. It's not as bright as I would normally like for a brow bone highlight, but there really isn't another option in here for that, so. Um, I also use Delete beneath my lower lash line. I think that's it, so let me zoom you in. So here's the look. All right, so the only other thing I have on my eyes is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Infinite Waterproof Eyeliner, which is a new eyeliner for them, and it's a retractable. And this is just in Cole Noir. But, I mean, it's a black liner. It's, I'm just testing that out. And then for blush today, I have the NARS Cream Blush in Penny Lane down. And then over the top of that, I took the Bare Minerals Ready Color Boost, which is this. I'm not sure if this is still available or not. And this is in the Adrenaline Rush, and I pretty much just concentrated in these two shades right there. And then on my lips, I used for the first time today a gift from my friend Laura, um, the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Bond Girl. All right, for my second look, I used the shades, the main shades that I used. Actually, I think these are the only two shades I used. I used um, Beat Down and Fastball. These are a little bit powdery. Sometimes it's hard to see. So Beat Down here and Fastball is here. So I took Beat Down in the inner third and the outer third, and then I also kind of connected it um, kind of over the top there. And then in the middle, I used Fastball, which is right here, the shade right there. And I mirrored that b below my lash line as well. So I took the beat down on the outer third and inner third and then used just in the middle that um, fastball. And then also on a really fluffy brush, a, like one of these kind of tiny, wispy sort of fluffy brushes, I took that to blend out the crease, I took that fastball, that same shade on the um, outer edge of that crease. And I think that that is everything. I used just a little bit of um, the shade in Bones right here just as brow bone highlight. So let me zoom you in. All right, so here's a look. All right, so also as liner, I took that shade that's, I think I called it Beat Down. It's actually underhand, this shade right here. Let's let's get this straight. They're kind of, when you hold it upside down, it's tricky. I used that on a wet liner brush on my upper lash line. And then I also uh, lined my upper waterline with the Sleek Ooh La La liner. On my lower lash line, because these shades have a lot of red, um, kind of orange tones into them to make sure that I don't look sickly, I use the Rimmel liner in Nude on my lower waterline. For blush today, I use the Chanel blush in Jersey. And then on my lips, I took the MAC lip liner in Spice. And over the top of that, I used the Buxom, what is this, Bold Gel lipstick. And I think that's what it is, Bold Gel something. Yeah, Bold Gel Lipstick in Poison Nectar, which looks like that. Okay, for my third look, I used the shade right here in Robbery. And just as a side note, this shade would be a perfect one shadow and done shade. I put that all over my lid, blended it up, and I could have absolutely put on some liner mascara and walked out the door. It's a beautiful shade. So if you have this palette and you need a quick one shadow look, that's a great shade to do that with. 
I didn't stop there, however. I went ahead and took Deadbeat, which is this shade right here, just in the outer, very outer corner and pulled just slightly into the crease just to give that kind of definition. Hopefully you can see that there. And then I used C Note beneath my lower lash line. Just a really interesting, like a combination of sage and teal all at the same time. Very interesting. And then I used Discreet, which is this, whoops, this shade right here, just to transition out and, and as my brow bone highlight. I think that's everything for my eyes, so let me zoom you in. So look. For liner today, I kind of used my two liner method, and what that is is I used the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen in, it's either black or onyx, on my upper lash line. This one smudges out very nicely, and I smudge that out with a brush. This does not work very well in my upper tight line, though, so I switched over to my Sleek Ooh La La Liner for that. For blush today, I pulled out my Hourglass in Mood Exposure. So that is what I have on my lips today. And for lip, <laughs> it's not on my lips. It's not. Are you putting blush on your lips now, Gabe? <laughs> I... For blush today, I have the Hourglass Blush in Mood Exposure. And then on my lips, I use the MAC Lip Liner in Boldly Bare. Over the top of that, I use the lipstick from Sleek in Succumb, which looks like this. And then just for a little added shine, I used my Camp Cosmetics Lip Lava in Trist. For my fourth look, I went ahead and used some of the purples in the palette. I took Beat Down, hopefully I've said these names semi-right throughout the video, on the outer two-thirds of my eye, and I took, I think it's Har Harlow right here, on the inner third. So I blended that out really, really well into the crease, and I used Discreet again, which is this shade right here, to help me do that. I deepened up the outer corner just a little bit with Deadbeat, Beneath my lower lash line, I took this shade beat down again. I used that beneath my lower lash line. And then I really blended it out with a fluffier brush with that Harlow shade. And again, I took the darker black, just kind of just a touch in the outer corner. On my upper lash line, I used that this pixie black again. I laid it down first and then I took a smudge brush and I used that purple shade again, that beat down, to blend it out. So it kind of made the liner look like a deepen like a blackened purple hopefully and I think that's everything I think I, I think I've covered everything except that I did line my upper and lower waterline with the sleek ooh la la liner so I will zoom you in all right so here's the look on my cheeks today I used the blush that I created with camp cosmetics and that's in I can't even just hopefully you can see and not too, not too washed out. And on my lips today, I lined my lips with the Annabelle lip liner in Demure. And then I used MAC Blankety over the top of that, which I love, but I, all of a sudden it has that smell, you guys. <clears throat> um, and then over the top of that, just to pink it up a little bit, I used the Revlon Lip Gloss in Pink Pop. All right, so before I get on to swatches, I just want to note for you that just like the Vice 3, that came, this came in a little bit of a, not a little bit, came in a little bag like this. Just kind of a nice bag. Um, and this, you can sort of feel this. It's not quite embossed, but it's not flat. You can, you know, feel the texture of the pattern there. And then if anybody is curious, in case you haven't seen this, I want to show you, you can actually feel that and you can see that it's kind of like an overlay on top of that. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of a shot of what that looks like. All right, first watches this time. I just hit the camera just a little bit. I'm gonna go this way rather than across because it's easier with four fingers. I'm just saying. So this is bones, framed, discreet, and bitter. So bones, framed, discreet, and bitter. Grip, fastball. Grasshopper and Flame. Grip, Fastball, Grasshopper and Flame. Deadbeat, 1985, C-Note and Low. Deadbeat, 1985, C-Note and Low. Beat Down, Underhand, Arctic and Crowbar. I think this is one of my favorite rows. <laughs> so Beat Down, Underhand, Arctic, whoops, Underhand, Arctic, and Crowbar. Those. That's all just one little. Pandemonium, Harlow, Robbery, and Delete. Pandemonium, Harlow, 
oops, Harlow there, <laughs> robbery, robbery and delete. All right, so of the 20 shades, there are four that are matte, um, and that is delete right here, discreet and framed, which are these two right here, and then bitter, right? That's what that was called? Yes, bitter. I love bitter. I would have used that every day, except that the looks would have been kind of boring. Um, and then there are six that have that kind of glitterness to them, you know what I mean? Like they're kind of a map but with glitter in them, and that's... I'm going to read the names and then I will point them out to you. Grip, Deadbeat, Flame, Arctic, and Crowbar. So Grip, Deadbeat, Flame, um, Arctic, and then Crowbar. And those, there are fo there's fallout with all of those. The, not all of the shades, but all of the ones that are kind of this matte with this glitter sort of thing. There's definite fallout with those. I don't get much fallout with the, all the other shades are like a sheen or a shimmer shade. Um, and those perform well. I think the mattes perform well. The ones with the glitter, there's definitely some fallout. So you just have to be prepared for that. For those of you that do your um, foundation after your eyes, you'll be fine. <laughs> For those of us that don't, it can be a little bit of an issue. But um, I enjoyed playing this palette. There are so many more looks that could be done with this palette. Um, I, I Like I definitely, shades that I didn't use that I wanted to is the Grasshopper. I really wanted to use that. Um, I can't remember now if I used Fast, I used Fastwell but I didn't use Flame, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, Love that there's a matte brown in this. You know, I've, I always say that, that I, in any palette, I really want a matte brown. It's nice to have a matte black, but if I had to choose between one of the two for my normal everyday looks, I would take a matte brown hands down any day of the week. So, so I hope that you enjoyed this. I really tried to use some color in this one, and I didn't, I don't think I actually did any, like, I, I would wear these any, any day of the week, but I didn't do any kind of toned down looks. I just tried to stretch just myself just a little bit with this one. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Rest of my face throughout the video. Aside from the first day, the very first day I used the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. I did not like that at all. At all. <laughs> um, the rest of the days I used the Pond's BB Cream, which I have depotted or took it taken out of the little tube thing and put in a in a little container. The foundation was the Smashbox Photo Filter Powder. I used um, throughout the day or throughout the week on my under eyes the e.l.f. Complexion Perfection which I am working through. For primer I used Urban Decay Primer Potion, MAC Painterly Paint Pot throughout the whole time and I think the only other thing um, the same bronzers I've been using I'll list those below and then for mascara everybody always wants to know mascara this time I was using the Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara um, from Estee Lauder. This is good stuff. More on that soon. So, right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm really interested in seeing Melissa's take on this. So go ahead and check hers out. I will have that listed below. And I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.